Welcome, welcome back to yet another installment or video for my 5M vehicle development series. In this video, I'll go ahead and show you how to add hydraulics to a vehicle. Yes, that is a question I've gotten quite a few times uh, since my last video came out, uh, primarily the handling that meta video. So, to add hydraulics to a vehicle, uh, it's actually fairly straightforward. Um, all you need to do is you need a car call stop meta and obviously a vehicle stop meta file. Now, the vehicle stop meta file you simply can't go without. The car call stop meta file, however, is a different situation. Now, to actually figure out what you need to do is you need to add a vehicle flag in your vehicle stop meta file. Now, I'll obviously go ahead and show you how and what flag you need to use and how you get it. Now, you actually have two separate ones. Yeah, so I'll cover that real quick. If you go to gtamods.com forward slash wiki forward slash vehicle stop meta, you'll be met with the, the GTA Mods wiki on vehicle stop meta files. Now on this page, you will find, if you scroll down just a bit, flags. Now, in the flags section, you want to scroll down until you find uh, number 119 or 123. Now the main difference between the uh, 119, so a flag has low rider hydraulics and 123, flag has low rider uh, dunk hydraulics, is that with the dunk hydraulics you can make the vehicle hop and you can only shift in the direction uh, which you use the hydraulics. Now if you don't know, you want to call engage or use your hydraulics on keyboard and mouse at least if you hold X on your keyboard. And then you do A, W, S, D, and or uh, shift and control. Now to make a vehicle hop, um, as far as I recall, now I don't personally use hydraulics all that often, um, but if you want to make the vehicle hop, you have to first of all engage the hydraulics, then you need to hold X, and then let go of X, and then the vehicle does a hop. You can do the exact same thing if you just hold X, and then you do either A, D, shift or control respectively and then it you know hops in a different direction so to actually add it to the vehicle itself you need to in this case i'm going to copy the lowrider hydraulics so i'm not going to do the dunk one i'm going to go ahead and find my file here now obviously i'm using the shasta greenwood classic which has spawn code geowoods i'll go into my vehicle set meta scroll down until i find legs now this already has flank as livery, extras strong. I'll go ahead and add space. And then I'll paste my flag as low rider hydraulics. Go ahead and save it. Now after that, I'll go into my cockle sub meta. Now this is a completely random cockle sub meta of a vehicle that doesn't have any kind of um, visual modification options, so like a spoiler, a bonnet, you know, front bumper, rear bumper, etc. Uh, you can essentially grab any kind of vehicle you want. In this case, I just grabbed this one from a 2021 Audi RS7. So, what I'll do is, as far as the ID goes, what I like to do is just smash my hand on my on my keyboard, or on my numbers at least. So, in this case, I got 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. Then I'll go and change the RS7 C821 to my model name, in this case a G Woods, paste, and I'll copy my ID here, down to ID down here, and I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, where it says RS7C821, my variations, you obviously have model name at the top, and then right here, this has a different um, G Woods ID, so for the sake of making it easy, what I'll do is I'll hop up here, I'll copy this, paste. The hydraulics to the car call stop meta. The way we do that is by grabbing a vehicle that already has hydraulics on it. Now I'll just go ahead and actually leave this exact um like text piece in the description so that you don't need to go and find one yourself so i'll go ahead and copy this now i'll paste this in the exact same area so i have 
INDEP underscore horn underscore four. So I'll go ahead and find that in my calculus that matter for the vehicle itself. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter where you paste it. I like to paste mine at the end though. So I'll go to my last line here at 421. Paste. Like that. So now I have VMT wheels, rear, or hydraulics. I have it four times. So that's good. You go ahead and save it again. Now, considering I'm already on my server here, I'll just go ahead and restart G Woods. Let me just refresh here. Not G Woods. Alright. Now it started. That's good. Now I'll go ahead and spawn it in. Now, so now it has hydraulics on it. And you can jump with the vehicle. And you should also be seeing an option for. Let me find it here. I do believe that is actually a rear wheel. Now, this doesn't change anything. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's basically it. It's really, really straightforward and simple to actually add hydraulics to a car. Now, if you have any questions regarding anything, if you can't find, you know, anything, if you have any kind of questions, concerns, whatever, join my Discord. I'll also leave that in the description. Um, ask questions in my Discord, ask questions in the comment section, whatever results you vote, essentially. Um, you know, if you want to be notified of when I upload my next video, obviously subscribe. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. It just actually goes to show that what I'm doing here is actually making some kind of difference. So yeah, uh, without further ado, I guess I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.